Oh man, where's the remote? Jeffy, do you know where the remote is? I want to watch TV. Hey, Daddy, I'm a unicorn. Mm -hmm. well, Jeffy, that's my remote. <laughs> you hurt the unicorn, Daddy. You took away my horn. Well, Jeffy, I want to watch TV. Just calm down. <clears throat> Breaking news, okay? An asteroid is heading straight for Earth. It could kill all of us. Here's the astronaut Brooklyn T. Guy with a statement. Uh, hello, everybody. My name is Brooklyn T. Guy. Uh, I went to Wedgwood Middle School, and uh, now I'm an astronaut for NASA. How do you like that, bitches? Yeah, I'm an astronaut. H how do you like that, Mrs. Leibowitz, my sixth grade science teacher? You said I wouldn't become anything when I was playing with my pencil, pretending it was a spaceship. But now look at me. I'm an astronaut. What are you doing? You're probably dead, you old hag. Uh, anyway, uh, on a more serious note, uh, there was a very large asteroid headed toward Earth. Uh, it, it's very big. It's about the size of my ex-wife. Uh, if you haven't seen my ex-wife, I, I, I really don't know how you couldn't. She, she is goddamn gigantic. She's, she's just, just fat. Uh, so it, it's a very, very large asteroid. If this asteroid actually hits Earth, we will all die. Everyone on the planet will be dead. It'll be just like the dinosaurs. But, but don't panic. We have a solution, okay? We're going to launch a nuke at the asteroid. And one of four things is going to happen, okay? The first option is that it breaks up the asteroid into millions of little pieces and they burn up in the atmosphere. The second option uh, is that it will break the asteroid up into two medium-sized asteroids and then we get DP'd and we're all dead. Uh, the third option is that the nuke does absolutely nothing, and we're all dead. And the fourth option is that we just completely fucking miss. That the, 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 the nuke doesn't even hit the asteroid, we shoot it completely the wrong direction. We just, we shoot the nuke with our eyes closed, we're, we're not even looking, we just launch it. So, obviously we're hoping for the first option, and uh, we're broadcasting this live, so uh, let's go launch this nuke! Oh my god, an asteroid! Oh, Jeffy, what are we gonna do? I hope that nuke stops it, oh my god! What's an asteroid, Daddy? Is it like a hemorrhoid? No, Jeffy, an asteroid is a rock, and if it hits the Earth, we're all gonna die! I can't believe this is actually happening! I don't believe this is actually happening! This has to be a prank or something! This has to be a prank! There's no way that we we'll actually die today! We might actually die today, oh my god! <laughs> Ow, Jeffy! She didn't hurt that bad, Daddy! Jeffy, an asteroid is much bigger than that. Let's we'll just watch the TV and see if they stop it. Okay, so uh, the nuke was a direct hit. We hit it perfectly right in the middle. It was a bullseye. Beautiful shot, really. Uh, nothing happened, though. Uh, apparently, this nuke was not big enough to break up this giant asteroid. So, uh, we have no way to wipe this ass droid out. <laughs> I, I, I made an ass joke. We're all gonna die. Huh? Oh, come on! Come on, that's funny. We're not dead yet. Alright, but seriously, uh, we have no way to wipe this ass droid. <laughs> I, I did it again. I, I did it. I did it again. All right, you guys are no fun. Uh, so you can start rioting and looting now uh, because we have no hope and I think we're all going to die because we have no ideas. So, uh, goodbye. It didn't work! Oh my god, that means we're actually gonna die! Oh no, what do I do, what do I do? Mm. Oh Mario Man, I'm about to go loot and riot. You wanna come? Black Yoshi, now is not the time to steal stuff. Oh, it's the perfect time to steal stuff. Ain't no one gonna be there and ain't no one gonna stop me. It's the perfect time to get a big TV, a PS4, an Xbox, a boom box, a new chain, some fresh kicks. Oh my, it's the perfect time! Black Yoshi, why would you need all that stuff if we're gonna die anyway? Cause I can look fly in heaven, folk. Black Yoshi, you're being so stupid! Man, for man, forget you for, I'm gonna go loot right. See you later. Black, Black Yoshi, oh my god, there's gotta be an update or something. Alright everyone, we're here with Dr. Frederick Fingershits, and he's supposed to help us with this asteroid problem. Fingershits? No, it is not Fingershits, it is Finkelshits. I am Dr. Frederick Finkelshits. Finkel! Oh, okay, Finkelshits. No, not Finkel, not Finkelshits, Finkelshits. Like, like, a, like Tinkle, but with an F. All right, Tickle Shits, how about this asteroid problem? It is Finkle Shits! Finkle Shits! It doesn't matter what your name is, Freckle Shits! Just explain the asteroid problem! It is Finkle Shits, for one. And secondly, I have several genius solutions to our asteroid problem! Okay, genius solution number one. We build a giant baseball bat, and then we step up to the plate, and we knock the asteroid out of the park! It is a win-win! 
All right, Frunkle Schutz, let me tell you the problem I have with this. That's a lot of wood for that big of a baseball bat. And we're on a time crunch here, Frunkle Schutz. Hmm, yes, yes. I see your point. That, that would take a lot of wood, and we are on a time crunch. So, genius solution number two. Uh, we make a giant trampoline. And then, when the asteroid comes to hit Earth, it hits the trampoline, and it bounces off back to where it came from. <laughs> yes, yes, Earth is saved, and the asteroid has a very good time. All right, well, I see that idea too, uh, shitball. But the thing is, is we're still running out of time, and that's a lot of material to use. Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. Okay, good point, good point, okay. So, uh, genius solution number three. This is a good one. Okay, I say we propose a game of rock, paper, scissors to the asteroid. The asteroid will obviously pick rock because it is made of rock, and we pick paper. Paper covers rock, we win, and the asteroid goes home a loser woozer! I don't think that's a good idea there, Franken shits, because I don't think the asteroid wants to play rock, paper, scissors, guy. Okay? And even if it did, that's a big ass piece of paper. Where are we gonna get all that paper? We're gonna run into the exact same problem as the baseball bat. Mm, yes, I, I see your point, you're right. Well, I'm all out of ideas and crayons. Well, you, you couldn't make like a, like a shrink ray for the asteroid? Hmm, a shrimp ray? Y yes, I, I could make a shrimp ray! I would do that! I would make a shrimp ray! Yes! Uh, uh, uh Freckle Shits? Did, did we lose him? Well, let's hope he can make a shrimp ray for the asteroid. Okay, good! We can still survive! Alright, all the scientist has to do is shoot the meteor with a shrink ray, and it'll shrink it down really small, and then we'll all survive! There's still a chance! There's still a chance to survive! There's still a chance! Yeah. <sighs> Ow, Jimmy, what was that for? I don't know why you're afraid of rocks, Danny. Jimmy, I'm not afraid of rocks, I'm afraid of big rocks. <laughs> Breaking news, good. Dr. Frederick Pimpleshits has done it. He has made the shrink ray. Tell him, Dr. Pimpleshits. It is Finkleshits. But yes, I have made the shrimp ray. I will now go outside and shrimp the asteroid with my shrimp ray. Well, then do it. Shit! Oh, okay, I will! <laughs> Alright, asteroid, prepare to get shrimp! <laughs> yes, take that! What the hell just happened? <laughs> I have done it! I have actually done it! I have turned the asteroid into a shrimp with my shrimp ray! Shrimp ray? We, we said shrink ray, like to make smaller! Oh! Uh Oh, you wanted a shrink ray. I, I thought you said a shrimp ray. I, I thought you wanted me to turn the asteroid into a shrimp. What? Why the fuck would we want that? I, I don't know. I, I was kind of questioning it myself, really. But but I did it. I made a shrimp ray. And the asteroid is a shrimp now. What? Well, can you make a shrink ray? No, no, that is impossible. What do you think this is? Some kind of cartoon? Oh, fuck. See, it appears that we are having some technical difficulties. Anyway, we now have astronaut Brooklyn T. Guy to explain to us this new shrimp problem. Hey there. So, you remember that asteroid that was going to slam into the Earth and kill us all? Well, it's now been transformed into a giant shrimp that's gonna slam into the Earth and kill us all. So, we're not really sure how the asteroid got turned into a giant shrimp, but uh, that is now the problem. And if that shrimp collides with the Earth, we will all die, uh, especially those of us who are allergic to shellfish, like, like myself. So, uh, if you have any ideas on how we can solve this shrimp problem, uh, please, please give us a call. What? A giant shrimp? <sighs> I know one person who can fix this. <sighs> Uh, uh you, you, your, your shrimpiness? Bow to me, Mario. Uh, y y yes, sir. Now what do you want? Can't you see I'm with my shrimp post? Uh, y y yes, I can see that, but but uh, the world needs your help. Ow! Why, why'd you do that? That's an honor, Mario. <laughs> if a shrimpo hunter hits you with his shrimpo, that's a high honor. Okay, well, the world's in danger. The world's always in danger, Mario. Okay, but this time, there's a, there's a giant shrimp coming towards Earth. How big is he? About the size of the planet? Chewy boy! Take me to him, Mario! Okay, well, I'll take you to NASA. That, that, that's the people who need your help. Alright, Mario. Breaking news, we 
Lily. NASA has found a solution to the giant shrimp. Here's astronaut Brooklyn T. Guy from NASA. Okay, everybody, we finally have a solution for our giant shrimp problem. Uh, Woody from Toy Story here. Chili boy! My name's Woody. Uh, yeah, yeah, he, he has a solution for how we're gonna fix this. Uh, Woody? Alright, so now this is what we're gonna do. They're gonna put me in a rocky ship, and then they're gonna blast me off into the outer space. Yeehaw, yes they are. Then, once we're out there in the outer space, I'm gonna get out of my, of my little space pod, and I'm gonna sneak up on the shrimpo all, all nice and quiet-like. And then, I'm gonna look at the shrimpo, and then I'm gonna do the call. Shrimpo! Jesus! All right, then he's gonna get in his mating position, and then once he's in his mating position, I'm gonna pop up, and then I'm gonna gobble him up like. <laughs> Uh, uh, oh, okay, 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 Woody, Woody? Yeah, Woody, I'm, I'm gonna stop you right there. Let me tell you why that's not gonna work. You why? Can't, you can't eat a shrimp the size of this planet. Oh, yes, I can. There was one time I ate one the size of your head there, little fella. Uh, okay, well, that's my head. We're talking about one the size of this planet. I'm always up for the challenge. Uh, okay, how about this? How about we fly you up to the shrimp, and then you eat your way to the middle of the shrimp, and then you put a bomb inside and blow it up from the inside. Oh, get to the center of the shrimp bow like a titty pop. Y yeah, like like a like a titty pop, sure. Out there. Chewy boy. I'm always up for the challenge. Alright, that sounds good. Okay, everybody, we're gonna give him a three billion dollar rocket ship and just see what he does. Chewy boy. I'm ready to eat this shrimp bow! Okay, everybody, as you see right here to the side of me, uh, Woody is in his rocket ship, and he's getting ready to fly up to the giant shrimp, and then eat his way inside, and plant a bomb inside of the shrimp, and blow it up from the inside, and save us all. Uh, I'll be honest, this is, this is a one-way mission. He's probably not going to be coming back. Uh, this is a suit, um, this is a, this is a go to sleep forever mission. He's, he's gonna commit not feel so good. Okay, he's gonna commit close his eyes forever. He's, he's probably gonna die up there. So he, he is one brave cowboy. And if I were Andy, I probably would not have given him away to the little girl from Monsters, Inc. So, uh, let's launch this rocket! Come on, Woody. We know you can do it. All right, now. I'm on this big bastard. So I'm going to start gobbling him up. Chewy boy. <laughs> All right, now. I'm in the center of the shrimp bow, and I planted the bomb in the center of him. Now, I'm going to blow him up. Rest in pieces, you bastard. Chewy boy. Oh my god, he did it! He actually did it! The mission is a success! Woody successfully blew up the giant shrimp! We're all saved! Shrimp is raining down from the sky all over the world! But, but let's not forget that brave cowboy that sacrificed his life for all of us. Woody's dead? He sacrificed himself to save all of us. Oh my god. Oh my god. Woody, we'll always miss you. What? Woody? Ugh, I killed that big bastard. Chewy boy. Chewy boy. Shrimpo hunter.